I'm Howard Phillips Lovecraft, and today's question comes to us from Stefan, who would like to know more about the great race of Yith. The great race of Yith, or Yithians if you will, were the prime antagonists of sorts in my story The Shadow Out of Time. They existed on the planet Earth eons before humans ever did, and had the, the power and technology to transport their minds into the vast future where they were able to swap their minds with the different sentient and civilized species that existed on the planet Earth. And indeed, in so doing, they were able to wage their never-ending war with the Nefandus flying polyps. Now, where the, the horror came into it was both the horror of the protagonist finding himself in this alien body, knowing that his own body is possessed by some alien mind, but also realizing just how small and insignificant mankind was. Here we were, living on a planet that had many races coming before us, many races coming after us. It was a way for me to explore many of the, the theories proposed by Spengler, although in this case I was taking it from the historical scale to the geologic one. Now, what might surprise you is that I was never particularly pleased with this story. It, it never quite clicked for me. And indeed, I, I sent it off to, to many of my friends to receive advice and criticism. Joseph Shea was particularly unstinting in his criticism, I don't need to tell you. And that's where it might have ended, another story to sit languishing in my desk, if it hadn't been for the mischievous antics of one Donald Wondry, who, without my knowing, submitted it to Astounding, who, surprising beyond all belief, published it. It was a remarkable surprise, and while I finger-wagged at Donald, I was, I must say, a bit pleased with him. Now, I would explore some of these themes again in my literary exquisite corpse, The Challenge from Beyond. In that story, there were the Yakubians who were able to swap their minds with the human protagonist, which led to all manner of horrific details. But the one benefit Shadow of Out of Time had was that it did not have a Robert E. Howard to take my tale of, of bodily horror and alienation and then turn it into another one of his exercises in blood spatter and sociopathic violence and glistening fuse. So, I suppose that's something going for it. As always, I'm Howard Phillips Lovecraft. Thank you. Thank you.